In this Python tutorial, we will make a simple bank application with a radio element using the PY Simple GUI library. After entering the sender and recipient names, we select the quantity and shipping method. When we click on the button, a message is displayed stating that the transfer has been completed. Additionally, a text file is created and the action is recorded. We will do the project together from the very beginning. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. First, I will transfer the PY Simple GUI library. You can transfer the library using this code. I import the library. I am creating an object list. I add text and input objects to the list. I create a variable for the window. I send the title, layout and size values to the window function. I create an infinite while loop with true. I will create two variables named event and values. I synchronize the variables with the read function. Using these variables, I determine the operations to be performed in the application. For example, when the X button is pressed, the win closed function is called. If the event is win closed, I will end the while loop with the break command. Finally, I close the window. I created a window containing input and text objects. I create text and input objects for the recipient. I added input and text objects to the application for the sender and receiver. I will make a small edit. I create a text object for the quantity. The object has been added to the desktop window. Using the combo element, I will ask the user to select the amount they want to send. I'm creating an empty list for the combo element for now. I send font, expand, enable and read only values to the combo function. In previous videos, we learned in detail how to create the combo element. You can watch the video in the playlist for the combo element. I add the combo variable to the layout list. The object has been added to the desktop window. We haven't added any options to the object yet. We will add members to the options list soon. Now I create the radio element. The user has two options for the shipping method. Visa or MasterCard. I also add the MasterCard radio element. I sent payment method to the functions as the second parameter. Both parameters are the same for both objects. Therefore, two objects cannot be selected at the same time. Finally, I add the button and text objects to the window.
all objects added to window. Now let's edit the options of the combo element. I am sending five values to the list. The values I sent to the list were added to the combo element. I need to access combo, input, radio, and text elements. I define keys to access objects. I will soon redirect using these keys in the while loop. Each key value must be different from each other. I create a variable named payment method. When the radio object is selected, the values value is set to true. If visa is true, I set the variable to visa. If mastercard is true, I set the variable to mastercard. I determined the shipping method using these two if queries. Now I will code what will happen when you click the button. When the button is clicked, a text file will be created. The sender, recipient, quantity and shipping method will be recorded in the text file. I create the text file using the open function. I can send data to the text file I created using the write function. Using values and keys, I can access the values in input, combo, radio, and text objects. Finally, with the update function of the result text object, I publish a message stating that the money has been sent. I am closing the file. Let's try the project. I enter the sender, recipient, quantity and method. The button is currently dysfunctional. I made a syntax error. The name of the button is not exactly the same. Don't forget to pay attention to small capital letters. I am making the necessary arrangements. I'm trying again. I enter the sender, recipient, quantity and method. When I click the button, a text file is created and the values I enter are saved to the file. In the next video, we will make an example of the spint element. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.